So this is Rifton's ePacer, and the concept with this product is to combine features of the tram and features of the pacer. So you will see that the base has the pacer casters and the pacer ankle prompts, and then we have the battery assist, battery powered assist lift of the tram. Some newer features to point out is the switch pole. And this is what will elevate and lower the body support system. You can actually turn this so that it is in easy reach of the caregiver or the client, depending on how you um, would like to use that. Then we also have a new battery housing this is the battery and there's an indicator light green is ready to go orange and red signify that you should recharge the battery and then there is the safety button as an emergency stop and just twist that to to release similar to the tram we have the ability to widen the base to access a power wheelchair or furniture. And also we have the odometer, which is available on the caster. Simply reset to bring that back to zero, and then with each session you can record the number of feet traveled. Other features of the caster that are very important for gait training include a foot activated swivel lock. So that can be released by tapping the front. Then we also have the drag, which is a white on black marking, increasing the resistance as you turn that. And then we have the forward only direction lock, which is used in combination with the swivel lock. And that would then allow you to go forward, but not backward. And it has that quiet sound. If you have the swivel lock released, you will be able to go backward, and you'll still have that clicking sound. So be sure to use that in combination with the swivel lock. And then there's the brake. So the beauty of the base is that it is ideal for gait training. And we had heard from our field regarding gait training that it was difficult to perform that sit to stand transfer to get clients into the pacer. So this meets that need by doing the battery powered lift to transfer the individual up into the device for gait training. We also have the ankle prompts to help prevent scissoring and adjust for stride length, which is not available on the tram. In terms of using the body support system, you will use the same thigh straps as you are familiar with from the tram. There's the standard size and then the wider size. And these attach as with the tram on the yellow clips at the front, and then will slide under the client's legs and attach here for that initial seated transfer. In terms of gait training, we offer the walking saddle or pelvic support. <clears throat> this is the largest. And we now do offer the hip positioner as well with four rings and that can be attached on these clips. So the e-pacer has the pelvic support and the walking sorry, the pelvic support and the hip positioner as your weight-bearing assist, it does not offer the new multi-position saddle. 
So that is a consideration in terms of deciding which gate device for which particular client. Then we also have upper extremity supports. And these attach in the same way <clears throat> as we are familiar with from the tram. So these secure onto the attachment here and can be put in a number of positions on either side. So here the um, arm platform is shown and I'll just demonstrate the two possible positions here. This is your forward position on the post with a slightly downward angle. Here we have the post back and down. And if we spin this forward, you can see the comparison of positioning possibilities. Um, and you have, of course, the angle possibility as well. So you can really determine what is going to be most helpful for a particular client or student. <clears throat> One tip that not all therapists and teachers are aware of, notice how the attachment extends below the body support. In some cases, as you perform the transfer, this may dig into a client's thigh. It is possible to use the wing knob on the opposite side to loosen that and simply reverse this position so that it's protruding upward and that can be helpful. You are familiar with the arm prompt and that is another option. Here we can slide this under the platform again to vary that position. Here if we spin this forward and slide it back we can position that farther back. So varying your arm position will enable you to um, assist positioning for the student. So in terms of sizing, I would like to just show you the um, tram and the e-pacer side by side just to point out that the tram is a little narrower and it's also lower to the ground. So what this means is that we can actually uh, serve a taller student with this gait training device because it will raise that much higher off the ground. So the e-pacer is very favorable for gait training. It has a wider base of support. It has gait training casters. The tram, on the other hand, has a more compact base, lower to the ground, so it is more favorable for transfers. Notice that we can now get the switch pull as an option for the tram. And this caregiver handle is an option for the pacer, for the e-pacer. So there may be a, a client where you would want to attach that at the front for gate training purposes or transfer purposes. Another um, recent development for both of these items is the um, smartphone application. This is called the Gate Tracker, Gate Tracker app. You will notice that with this scale, it is possible to uh, measure the weight bearing of the client because with the, the pelvic support in place, um, as the client is weight bearing through the ground, that 
weight is off-weighted from the scale. So the more they are weight-bearing, you can um, monitor that progression of development. So with a smartphone secured to a bicycle mount, as an example, this can actually be placed so that the student can see those numbers and be motivated to improve their weight bearing. And there's a nice explanation of that both in the product guide and a video on our website. So all the pelvic supports have a capacity of 350 pounds, whether you're using the large, the medium, or the small. And um, these are the most commonly used weight-bearing assist with the e-pacer. Now I would like to take a moment to again just compare the e-pacer with the new pacer. And here you see the XL pacer. And you'll notice that the height adjust is a gas assist. It's not um, battery powered. So that's one of the key differences, the instrumental differences, is that this individual to move from sitting to standing will require a manual lift assist from two staff as compared to the battery powered lift. In terms of the actual size of the base frame, the width is identical. The length is a little bit slightly longer with this um, body support system of the e-pacer. And again, the nice feature of the new pacer is this pelvic support, the multi-position saddle. And this gives you very specific positioning of the pelvis in terms of forward and back, angle adjust, height adjust, which you are not able to achieve with the pelvic support. So here again, if this is highly necessary for your particular student, then this would be the product of choice. So I believe that summarizes the key similarities and differences between the tram, the e-pacer, and the new pacer, and the benefit of the battery-powered assist for sit-to-stand along with the casters and ankle prompts.